I'm commentating and kind of tired from yelling so much <laughs> at all the matches. I was about to body zero with my Lemmy though. He didn't even know, but he fell asleep. He got those sleep johns. He seriously said, oh, I have to play against foe. Tell him I'm asleep. I don't want that Lemmy work. It's all good though. We're going to see what's going to be this happening tomorrow. Right Alright guys, so it looks like Foe has left to solo commentate in front of thousands of people. I've never done this before, guys. I'm so shaking up. But it's all good. Uh, is this a real match? Is this a real match? I guess it's an exhibition match. Alright. Oh, looks like we're joined by D1. Travante looking extremely surprised. I'm not exactly sure uh, what happened right there. <laughs> but uh, the, the many faces of awe from Travante. Just many faces. Yeah, Monkey's actually considered one of the better uh, Little Macs. Little Macs. the best It's the best Little Mac, little Mac in, on the West Coast, I yes, believe, actually. on the West Coast, yep, yep. Yeah, so you guys want to see a Little Mac. Here you go, right here. It looks like oh! he's going with the jab. Guys, that was 32 damage. Percent one move. From jabs alone. One move. Oh, my God. One move. One man. Holy <laughs> One glove. <crap. laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lie. Trevante looking mad buff in this match right now. He's trying to rival the, uh, the toneness of Little Mac IRL. He ain't being intimidated by nothing. Wow, that was a really great answer here. You're completely even. Yeah, 57, 57, 57, 57 tight battle. Two stocks, but that jab is really putting in so much work right now. Sitting Fox in the air. Looks like he tried to get an up smash right there, but it looks like it was power shielded. Now, for those of you who don't know what power shielding is, oh, oh, up smash. That ain't saying, Falco. For those of you who don't know what power shielding is, it's when you shield and attack in the first three frames of activating a shield. What's the match? Are they in? This is just it, guys. Zero. Zero has Zero. awoken from his slumber. Zero has awoken from his slumber. Oh. To fight yeah. Foe. Foe versus Zero. Best of fights. Boys. Oh my gosh. And Monkey just yeah, put I'm in the sickest combo. Boy. We don't know about that. Who? You're going to try who? Lemmy. Oh, Launch Bowser Jr. If, if I get bodied this Lemmy, I'm going to try a duck hunt dog. Duck hunt dodge. And right here, you see basically Travante trying to use the strategy that you should use against a Little Mac on the stage, which is to retreat to the platforms. Mm. Oh, and just when I say that, he oh, goes wow. back to the ground. Yeah, he's <laughs> Monkey's actually a little bit more aggressive with Little Mac. Usually, oh, wow. Monkey! Then he gets hit by an uppercut, though. Best Little Mac on the West oh, Coast. Oh, my goodness. Oh, nice work, Max. You got it all figured out. I'm surprised. Yeah, huh? I was surprised when he tried to go for the, the down tilt into the KO punch somehow. It whiffed. Did he DI out? Yeah, okay. So the. Okay, that's yeah, basically Yeah, the KO punch actually has a really funny property about it. If you literally don't hit with the fist, it has a huge win box that sends people to the other side of the stage if you miss with it. Kind of crazy. But yeah, for the most part with Little Mac, what you'll find your opponents doing, or Little Mac rather, is controlling the center of the stage. That's kind of what they want. It's kind of like an actual boxing match. Because most people are like, oh, Little Mac, all he does is swing punches and he's super aggressive. Actually, Little Mac is more of an opportunistic character. Think of it like this, a real boxer. Do they yep. just go out and use all their energy? Or nope. do they analyze and wait for an opening? Yep, they have, they're really good at risk management. You know, they exactly. realize, hey, I'm right near the edge. I need to assess the situation. Get out of here, because that could be a lost and stop. Right that's, here! That's Little Mac! And but, that is it! But unfortunately, not everything goes as planned. Sometimes you do get caught off guard, and that unfortunately could end up uh, leading to a loss of a stop <laughs> right there! But also a good <laughs> And did you see the smile on oh Travante's face? Yeah, he, so he, uh, uh, he. Let me tell you he one thing, man. It. Exactly. That's it. when you know somebody actually did an insanely good read right, right there. He's like, you know what? I'm not even mad at you. When you could just smile at that, just laugh it off and be like, wow, I got you, Pops. Right? Yeah. There. I mean, that's a very respectable read right there. I mean, it happens to all of us. It happens Ooh. to all of us. Ooh. Oh. Wow, the percents are actually very even right now. And it looks like Travante really keeping up that pressure. Nice board uh, The Maxter right here. Very nice, safe up uh, Not getting punished by Little Max up smash right there, which wouldn't have killed, but I mean, Little Max smash is a lot of percent. Wow, did you just notice how Monkey was just making great use of Little Max rolls? Little Max rolls not even having that much cooldown. Yeah, exactly, yeah. so it's really hard to punish. It's extremely fast. And another thing that I noticed that he's really taking good use of is Little Max down tilt. And I usually don't see a lot of people using down tilt too often, but remember, Little Max is a god on the ground. We have a one-hit KO punch! Oh! I thought oh, that was it. That was, 
Let me say one thing. It, it would actually be smart if he gets rid of his stock without burning the gym, actually. Because then, if if the next stock comes through, he'll be able to get rid of that. Yeah, but if he does die when he has the kill punch, he loses the whole meter. See, right now? Oh, yeah, of course, yeah, of course. The whole meter no. Yeah. So, were you saying to start a new stock and then build the meter up? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. No, basically what I was trying to allude to was that he can actually take two stocks quick as soon as possible. If he has the kill punch, gets rid of the first you're, stock, yeah, keeps yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're then, talking about. Yeah, yeah. Sorry for not being that, clear. Yeah, no, 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 no. You're, that's absolutely right because um, according to the um, the patch that happened in this game, Rotomax KO punch actually deals a lot more knockback. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it would have killed him at like 10%. <laughs> Jilly Club right here kills at a perfect zero. It's crazy. Ooh. That is happening on so much percent. All this jab damage right now. And it looks like Trayvante is trying to DI towards him instead of away. Oh my now he's trying to DI away, and he's still he's still yeah, getting it caught. It looks like Trayvante not having a lot of experience in uh, escaping jabs. Um, I wonder if the C stick is really helping him with the smash DI now, like double tapping. Oh. Nope. And he says nope, uh, <laughs> nope. a resounding nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, but yeah, he's gonna be taking a lot of damage if he can't find a way to get out of those. I mean, look at how patient Monkey's being right now. He's taking a lot of percent right now. It looks like... Um, hey, oh! Wow, and wow. Travante Perfect. leaves the, ve the venue. Wow. Oh no, yeah, wait, he's Trevante. still there. He's still there. Okay. Storm and now... Oh man. 